Day 56 of the Daily Stoic. The Smoke and Dust of Myth. Quote, Keep a list before your mind of those who burned with anger and resentment about something, of even the most renowned for, su for success, misfortune, evil deeds, or any special distinction. Then ask yourself, how did that work out? Smoke and dust, the stuff of simple myth, trying to be legend. Marcus Aurelius, Meditations 12.27 in Marcus Aurelius's writings, he constantly points out how the emperors who came before him were barely remembered just a few years later. To him, this was a reminder that no matter how much he conquered, no matter how much he inflicted his will on the world, it would be like building a castle in the sand, soon to be erased by the winds of time. The same goes for those driven to the heights of hate, or anger, or obsession, or perfectionism. Marcus liked to point out that Alexander the Great, one of the most passionate and ambitious men who ever lived, was buried in the same ground as his mule driver. Eventually, all of us will pass away and slowly be forgotten. We should enjoy this brief time we have on earth, not to be enslaved to emotions that make us miserable and dissatisfied. Man, I, you know, one of the things that I love so much about the Stoics is the raw and unashamed, just terseness about the realities of life. You, great emperor, even with everything that you have done and forced your will upon the world, you will not be remembered. Now, Marcus Aurelius probably asserted that he would be likewise not remembered. Interestingly enough, we have his writings here because they've survived. So he ended up becoming truly a legend. But you and I are not Marcus Aurelius. I'm just me, a PD, reading his work, right? And you're you. Maybe you're going to be awesome. Maybe you're going to be a legend in the future. I don't know. And I hope you will be if that's what matters. But let's be honest, guys. It's right here. The last quote of Marcus Aurelius in Meditations 12.27, right here. Let's read it. Smoke and dust, the stuff of simple myth, trying to be a legend. Man, I hope, it is my truest hope, that you, my listeners, or my viewers here, are not chasing after the, the tangible, the, the, the special distinctions, right? The successes of, and the accolades of the world nonsense that's what it is all of that is worthless you already know what the most important thing for you is and it's not none of not, it's not none of that it's the here and now it's the relationships you have it's the it's 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 your wife your your husband your spouse your kids that's what matters not all the hours you put into work not all the the, the nonsense you deal with. Like, love, life is suffering enough. The smoke and dust of myth. We should enjoy this brief time we have on earth. Let me say that again. We should enjoy this brief time we have on earth. Not to be enslaved to emotions that make us miserable and dissatisfied. Well, I think you guys, I hope you guys are not slave to the emotions that twist and turn life in just crazy ways. Life never needs to be crazy. Work never needs to be crazy. There's a book, Jason Freed, Work Never Needs to Be Crazy, something like that. Uh, you should read it. But man, you have control of what comes in. And what well, you don't, might not have control of what comes in all the time, but you have control of how you respond. You have control of how you look at it, how it, you let it affect you. And if I can remember this one thing, miserable and dissatisfied, don't be miserable and dissatisfied. Daggum it. Don't let people steal your joy. Don't let anybody steal your joy today, guys. See you in Discord, MetaFam.